Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. So for today's video, I'd like to show you guys how I turned an empty corner that I have in one of my rooms into two different functional spaces. One is going to be an office and the other one will be used for displaying DIY projects. My computer is going to be on top of this table and then I want to measure how much space I'm going to need. And then I got wood to let me know how high I want the partition for the spaces to be. Now these are books that I got from the Dollar Tree that I intend to use as shelves and I made sure I got books that are the same size. I took two planks of wood that I'll be using for the project and started painting them white. If you are new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is a storage cube I have at home and it's heavy and good for the base. So I'm going to be attaching both planks of wood that I painted white to the sides of the cube. I'm going to need four screws on this side, so I'm going to be adding two more here and here. Since these are the books that I'll be using as shelves, I took one of it and then I measured the space that I'll need in between both planks. And then I got another piece of wood that I'll be using at the bottom to hold all the planks and the cube storage together. The cube storage is heavy, it's wide, and it has a good balance on the floor. So it is the perfect base and also the perfect support for the planks. The wood I used as the base is pretty long, so I'm going to be adding two more planks of wood at the other end and holding everything at the top again with another piece of wood. To make sure that this structure remains strong and stable, I attached it to the wall. Now because of what I have down here, it created a space between the wood and the wall. So because of that, I had this little piece of wood that I put there before attaching it to the wall. This is a piece of wood from an old furniture that I had before. And I'm going to cut this into two and then join them together. I'll be covering the back with marble contact paper. Now I'll be using this Dollar Tree mirrors on top of it. I'm just going to glue it lightly as my reference points to know where I'm going to be gluing the stones because I'm going to be gluing rocks around the mirrors.
I've used two packs of rocks so far, so I'll be adding three more. I cover the mirrors and then I spray painted the whole thing gold. The stones made it heavy so I had to add another extra wood at the back to make sure that it stays straight. I attach it to the cube at the bottom and the wood at the top with corner braces. I cover the extra wood with marble contact paper as well. I'm going to be adding rocks to the books. And remember, the books have to be the same size. These are all the books, and now I'm going to take them out and spray paint them gold. Because of the excess spray paint that's here, I'm going to be covering the top of the books with marble contact paper. These books are going to be used as open shelves, so one side is going to show the pebbles, and then the other side is going to be showing the books. These are square wooden dowels that I have as excess from another project. And I cut them all to size. And that's what I'll be using as support for the books. I painted them all white. And now I'm going to attach them to the planks. These shelves are so strong and sturdy and they can even hold heavy decor items. I'm going to be adding sheer curtains to the room divider. And on the curtains, I'll be adding gold trim to them. I'll be holding the curtains with napkin rings that I spray painted gold. On top of the room divider, I'll be attaching wooden letters that spells out Gitto. I cut strips from a golden contact paper and added it to the design. I added lighting to the room divider. I used remote controlled lighting, two at the top and two at the bottom. I needed the sheer curtains to have this nice effect with the lighting and that's what I got. So this is what it looks like when every other light is off. I turned one open space into two functional rooms, one as an office and one for a display for my DIY project.
It is interesting to know that Dollar Tree books and rocks can add to the uniqueness of a room divider. This room divider is personalized and it reflects who I am and I love the way it turned out. Like I said before, I'm still working on my office space and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I hope you all enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.